Yo, what is going on guys? King Cram back here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can kind of get far by yourself soldier, if you have a bad team. Archer, and you're going to be having to use Soldier. And this is in the new game mode, obviously. Doctor's Junkenstein's Revenge. You probably saw it in the title or the thumbnail. But yeah, so basically, I always pick Soldier or Anna when I'm trying to get far and I have a bad team or I'm just playing online by myself. Because usually if you have friends, you can get far and be anybody, but... But yeah, if you're a good player and you have a bad team, then Soldier is definitely what to use because number one is Helix Rockets are probably the best thing you can have in the whole game, at least for this game mode, because they do like a ton of damage to everything around it, and that makes Hanzo and Anna be able to one-shot whatever you hit, so that really helps them out and makes it, make sure that you keep a distance with all the robots coming in. And next is because he has his own sustainability, which is his healing, and you can heal other people also. So if you have a really bad healer that's not responding to anything, you can kind of heal yourself and not have to worry about that. And the next thing, he's got his tactical visor, obviously. My thing is that Anna should always use it on him, unless like you kind of have to use it on someone else, like if Soldier's dead, fighting off a Reaper or something. But uh, yeah, use it on him because he'll destroy the Reapers and the Hogs. And he does a lot of damage to other robots too in case you're getting like a uh, swarm. And McCree doesn't really need it because he kills everything in one shot anyways. So there's no point of wasting it on him. And basically the, uh, the thing you do for the bosses now. So say you're, for, you're versing the first Reaper. You're going to want to run into the right corner. Like where they come out of that one spawning spot. And that is because your other three teammates are probably dumb and they all just stand there where the reaper spawns and they'll get destroyed either by his ability or just by his guns because they're really strong. So yeah, I like to go stand over there until all my teammates die and I'll heal myself while they're respawning. So the reaper will start chasing me, but he'll have a long way to go. So yeah, I just keep putting out damage to the reaper and then while my teammates are spawning back in, Sometimes they stay alive, like in this case right here, you can see that we all stay alive and the Reaper gets destroyed pretty fast. So leave a like if you like how you just got destroyed in two seconds. And uh, this is on hard mode by the way, this is kind of what this guide is, because easy and medium aren't that hard to beat. But yeah, so after you killed the first Reaper, just keep doing what you're doing until the uh, hog spawns in. And once the hog spawns in, there's a different way of killing this dude. I like to stay back by the spawn with my whole team and just kind of spray him. And usually by the time he spawns in, like you will see in this video in a minute, um, I have my thing ready, my ability. So, And if the Ana upgrades me again, then he shouldn't be too big of a problem. And the, make sure your Ana, well, if, if you can, make sure she uh, throws her grenade at him. So he can't heal himself, so he'll just get destroyed pretty fast. And then, so the third battle will be a Reaper and a Junkrat. The Junkrat comes out about 30 seconds earlier than the Reaper. So you guys are going to want to team up with him. And again, the Helix Rockets will destroy this dude really quickly. Or at least get a lot of damage out on him. And if you're shooting at long range, like where the uh, Junkrat spawns, you're going to want to tap your trigger because that'll make it way more accurate and more damage. So, yeah, so once you kill the Junkrat, you're gonna want to uh, wait for the Reaper to spawn in and kind of repeat the same first process I was talking about by running into that corner over there or up on the stairs, but I just like the corner better. And then uh, if your teammates die, you'll still be alive. Just kind of run away because you're the fastest uh, character in this game mode. So yeah, just run away from him and then hopefully your teammates spawn in or don't die by the time he gets back there. And then the next battle would be the uh, Junkenstein's monster and the healer. And I'm pretty sure Junkenstein comes in himself, but yeah, the healer, you're going to want to sleep dart if you're Anna. This is basically where you can't really go any farther if you don't have a good team because this whole battle relies on Anna, the one I'm talking about right now. Because the thing she can do, you can destroy both monsters really fast. She can sleep dart the healer. And then after she sleep darted, hopefully it's got a good aim. Then you can uh, throw your grenade at the hog. And then by the time you kill the hog, the 
healer will respawn or re get up as long as no one shoots her and then she will get destroyed easily because she doesn't really do any damage because she's a piece of shit but yeah so the hog basically should go down really quick as long as you get the grenade on him and the fourth battle with everybody I've never gotten that far on hard yet, but if you have, let me know what you think in the comments, or let me know what you did in the comments, and I want to really see how that's beating, so upload a video or send one to me too, and then what else, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the video, and now I'm going to start talking about my channel, and I'm kind of going to be making some switches to it, they're not really big, but as you can see, I've been making videos other than Fallout or Clash Royale, which were my main two uh, series kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I've been making some random videos, and I'm just going to kind of keep doing that. I like making just general videos of whatever's going on. So let me know if you want me to make a drama video, or I can start doing uh, vlogs and stuff, or uh, challenges. So let me know if you want to see a face reveal. And, yeah, just basically... Not sure where to go from here, so all your help could be really appreciated. And basically that's it for today, so I will see you guys later, and peace out. Someone needs to show how it's done.